Hi guys, is it possible that the Tories will try to buy off Nigel Farage in an attempt to reduce the threat from the Reform UK party? This sounds absurd. As I said before, Reform UK's goal is to push the Tories further to the right, so it's a real case of the tail wagging the dog here. Now back in 2019, Boris Johnson managed to convince Farage and his Brexit party to step aside in certain seats to help the Tories. The promise at the time was to get Brexit done. Farage has since then claimed betrayal, so what could the Tories give him to allow them to hold on to more seats? Um, Levelling up is clearly a big reason, as you'll know, uh, why many voters went for Boris Johnson back in 2019. You're looking at the polls now and you can see why some of your colleagues are a bit twitchy. Uh, There's a suggestion uh, in Politico uh, this evening uh, that some of them are saying that the PM should try and buy off Nigel Farage uh, and the threat of reform by offering a plum job ambassador to Washington, something like that. Would that be a good idea? Uh, Look, uh, I'm out on the ground campaigning. I've been party chairman for a good few months now. I'm campaigning right across the country all the time. Uh, What I'd say is that, and this is clear to me on the doorstep every time I'm out, that people are saying they know that the choice of the next general election is going to be between a a Conservative government led by Rishi Sunak or a Labour government led by Keir Starmer. There is no uh, doubt about that. They're the only two uh, possible outcomes. Uh, I think that we've got a strong record on uh, improving education. That's uh, one of the things I've talked about already, but also in terms of vocational uh, education and apprenticeships, a very strong record there uh, as well. Now you can get 70% of jobs and careers I just access want to, steer to you back to the question, because uh, I have allowed you to uh, you know, get your point, your campaigning points across. I just want to steer you back to the question, which was about Nigel Farage. Do you think it would be a good idea for the Prime Minister to do a deal with Nigel Farage? Look, I mean, what Nigel Farage does and the Reform Party is totally up to them. Uh, at the, we saw recently the Rochdale by-election that, uh, compared to the last general election, actually the vote for the Brexit Party slash Reform Party uh, slash UKIP, I mean, I don't know, can't always remember which they are at the moment, they, they actually went backwards. It, we've, we've not seen them achieve more than uh, 13%, even in the by-elections we've had uh, recently. It's quite clear that a vote for reform, all it's going to do is help Keir Starmer get into Downing Street. Uh, so that's, not a good idea the, to offer him a job then. Uh, all, all I would say is that it's irrelevant to what people are talking about on the ground, what they're interested in. OK, and then he goes on with his party political broadcast. Now, this is an interesting question, because back in 2019, what happened? Well, there was a possibility that Labour would win the election and the Tories would be out. And there was the possibility of a second referendum. Now, it was a possibility. It wasn't gu- wasn't a guarantee. So it seems that perhaps Nigel Farage at the time realized, look, we need to have the Tories. We're not going to win seats, but the Tories need to stay in power. So what we're going to do is we're going to campaign in leave seats where we're going to damage the Labour Party and not damage the Tories. So we're going to help the Tories in a sense. And Boris Johnson promised to get Brexit done. Boris Johnson promised to get Brexit over the line. And Farage went along with that. Now, since then, Farage has claimed, as I said, uh, a betrayal, a Brexit betrayal. He, the, the Tories have not implemented Brexit correctly or whatever. So what could be on the table this time round? Because Brexit is is off the table, of course. We're not talking about Brexit anymore. And the Reform UK party have a number of issues that they want to see quote-unquote resolved so what could Rishi Sunak offer Nigel Farage well I don't think there's anything like he could talk about making him ambassador to the US but (laughs) he won't be too happy if Joe Biden remains president and he won't be too happy if Labour win you know he could be replaced so I, I don't think and I don't think a Labour government would be too happy with Nigel Farage's ambassador to the US. So I, I think it's a bit pointless trying to offer him this as a as offer him this job. Because look, if Reform UK step aside, it's highly unlikely they'll do that. But even if they do step aside, we're still going to see a, a massive drop in support for the Conservatives. So yes, it will help the Tories hold on to more seats, but they're still going to lose power you're going to see a Labour government either way. So I I don't know what Rishi Sunak can offer Nigel Farage. There isn't really anything. This is not 2019. This is not the core area being Brexit. This is 
a whole range of, of, of issues that need to be resolved. And there's nothing really the Tories can offer. And, it's, and remember, back in 2019, the, the Tories ha- still held on to significant power. Rishi Sunak is on the way out. The Tories are deeply unpopular. So there's nothing really they can offer Nigel Farage, unless I'm missing something. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.